Hello, Possum Strainer Smith here in Alphacraft, of course. Uh, picking up where we left off last time. See those four shulker boxes in my hot bar? Full of clay. There is now no clay anywhere near me when I need more bricks. Stina said I can trade with her stonemasons. Woohoo! We'll do that. So I'm going to run these through my smelter. And then I'm going to go dig out the area I need for today's build. Uh, fuel goes in the top. What fuel have we got? Oh, quite a lot. Go away. Uh, chest mine cut for smelting load. Okay. So I'll get started with this and I'll meet you over where I'm digging out for today's project. I have a box of bricks and a box of various stones. Can I tell you how much I hate Endermen? Oh, they're such pests. Ever since 116 came out. I mean, 114 we were plagued with pillagers. 116 we're plagued with Endermen and they are just ripping the place apart. Oh, I can't stand them. Right, let's start by putting these down. I think this one, yep, this one's got that in and we may as well do that and that. Oh, right, I think I'm ready. I'm just going to put this pesky piece of dirt away. Right, now, this is not a planned build. I have not meticulously gone and worked something out in my test world and grid mapped it and all the rest of it. I've been looking at heaps and heaps and heaps of photos and videos online of old engine sheds and engine sheds at working historic railways. I've got photos open on my desktop. We're just going to see what I can do. So we'll start with some bricks and uh, we'll put the doors probably about here, so along this line. And we'll just see what happens. Um, mm. That line might be a pain. Oh, I need to go and get some more anvils. That line won't be a pain, I just haven't finished this one. I'll be back. Right, I'm definitely cutting out that bit. That was way too loud, but there we are. We've got the tracks in, so let's get started on whatever this is. The engine shed. Oh my goodness, it's going to be one of those days. Now I think I'll build the whole thing out of brick and then I'll texturize it. That is probably a good idea. Back I go over here. Oh and by the way I am putting a brick wall right the way around. just to enclose this so it's in a sort of safe space. All right, that's the shed layout done. And we've got little workshops at the side. And uh, do I want a little courtyard like that or not? I don't know. Anyway, 
that's the engine shed laid out. Now, I just have to build it. I think... Oh, I know you'll be bored with this, but I think yet another time lapse, it's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. almost done apart from all the detailing of the inside but um, oh, how do I want to do this uh, I want to do this this way so I'm just finishing off the roof and yes I'm using the new blocks because they're such lovely colors and these trap doors go the way I want and they don't have handles on them. Now, I'd love for Yappa or somebody else, you know, to just get rid of the handles on the birch and the acacia. It would make them that much more versatile. They're lovely trap doors, but they just need that done to them. So now I've got a put a roof on this and I think we might do another layer of glass. And the reason we've got so much glass in the roof is to let as much light as possible into the engine shed so that the people working in there on the engines can see what they're doing. Mm. Yes, I forgot about that. What am I going to do? Oh, I wish we could put different coloured Slabs together. Oh, well. let's do this. We did it downstairs. We can do it up here. And I've got a feeling I'm going to have to go and get. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and get more. Oh, back in a minute. Click, 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 click. That's the one problem with spawn proofing the roof with pressure plates while you're working on it. It's a bit annoying. What am I getting? Oh. Uh, have I got... No! Mm. All that stone that I got from my mine, uh, I'm going to have to go mining again. Right, I'm just going to grab some more glass. I'm just going to grab some more stone. Okay, that's it. I think, uh, click, 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 I think the roof is done. Just 
not too bad. I'm not sure about this. I might yet replace that with a stair. I don't know. Mm. I'll think about it. I swear I should just get that put on a t-shirt. Think about it. Let's have a look. Yeah. Now, there's still a lot to be done in this. I've got to run supports across there that use iron bars I need exhaust fans which will go up and make exhaust stacks on the roof this is done though this is the pit that you can get underneath the engine and do any maintenance underneath and also so you can wash out the boiler and clean it and all sorts of things there's three of those one for each engine that can come in here oh, I've got to light this place all this has to have stuff in it and we're going to make a section here for mending wheels and I've researched that but seriously I've run out of time it is six o'clock on the day before this is due to go out and that's 6 p.m. not a.m. and I haven't even started editing uh, and it's 40 degrees Celsius and the air conditioning doesn't extend to the study <laughs> Oh, and I've got to do something with that window up there. Mm. But I am working on a tutorial for a new engine to go in there. And yes, it's another tank engine. I've got this thing about tank engines, haven't I? Oh, well. This one is going to be a Trojan, which is as close as you can get to Percy from Thomas the Tank Engine. He's not actually based on any particular engine, but the Trojan's the closest. So, that, however, is more than enough for me. I'm cooking. I need to take a break. And while I'm taking a break, there's end cards on the screen now linking to some more of my videos. So you could toddle over there and have a look. And I'm going to go get a drink of water. Ah, and I'll see you next time. Bye.